every day new artists emerge vying for the attention of music listeners while trying to cultivate a dedicated following. As you already know, a lot of them do end up finding their audience and beating the odds of being an artist that did not make it in this extremely tough music business. Success will be defined differently for everyone in the music industry. She's an icon who sells millions of records in her first week. He's an established indie artist that sells out his shows. And we have the dreaded title of being underrated. Artists that broke through into the mainstream but haven't quite find their place in the pop landscape or whatever landscape you can think of. Their core audience is always telling everyone how they should be bigger than they are. And I too have a few artists I consider underrated. And one of those artists is BB Rexa. For this video, let's talk about the talented BB Rexa and how the music industry did her dirty. How can one of the biggest artists in the world be underrated? I know it's a strange place to be in, but that's the case with BB Rexa. BB is one of the biggest performing artists and songwriters in the modern world of music, but she isn't referenced or praised like her peers in the industry who have a similar singer-songwriter background. BB's been in the game since the early 2010s, becoming a member of the electronic band Black Cards, formed by Pete Wentz, a member of the rock band Fall Out Boy. Black Cards did release songs and mixtapes, but they were short-lived after BB Rexa departed the band to pursue other endeavors in 2012. Close to this timeline, BB Rexa would also get let go by Island Def Jam. In 2013, the singer got signed to Warner Bros. Records. That's when we started to see the early writing power of BB, co-writing Like a Champion for Selena Gomez and Nikki Williams' Glowing. If you are this far into the video and you aren't familiar with BB Rexa's music, I'm sure you've heard her song on the radio or on a playlist on streaming services. Here are a few popular songs by the singer. The music business can be an extremely deceptive industry. Many artists fall prey to its deception covered in glitz and glamour, only to end up feeling used and not valued as an artist. Prior to having over 40 million listeners and three of her songs surpassing 1 billion streams on Spotify, BB would end up being a victim to the deception the music industry casts onto many artists. After getting dropped by Island, BB would start to make music, a collection of songs she could use to shop around to labels. In one of her studio sessions, she wrote the hook for a certain track that details her depressed and sad state of mind at the time, a song about monsters under her bed, a song we all know today as The Monster, a song by rapper Eminem and Bayesian singer Rihanna. In the making of the track, BB Rexa had an epiphany and she knew the song would end up being a song performed by Eminem. But it wasn't all easy sailing as when they played the song for record labels trying to get a deal, execs would say the song was silly and it was a total flop. At the time, BB was broke and had little to no say in her destiny. In an interview with 92.3 Amp Radio, the performer gave insight on how she was even threatened of being blackballed if she didn't give the song to Lupe Fiasco. The song ended up being given to Eminem for his eighth studio album, The Marshall Mathers LP 2. He recruited Rihanna to sing the chorus, and Rihanna was credited as a featured artist, and they left BB's vocals from the demo. BB Rexa did protest to keep her vocals off the song, but they kept it anyway. And when I think about it, they probably left it because it was the selling point on the track. The part that goes... So Monster was released with BB Rexa's vocals, and the world didn't know. Rihanna was the featured artist, so everyone assumed Rihanna was the one singer throughout her part. And this is nothing new in the industry. Lots of singers aren't really singing certain notes on their record. The industry values how things look and sound aesthetically a lot more than what's actually happening, than what's actually true. 
For me personally, they should have let BB sing the chorus with Eminem, as I think that would have been a bigger moment, not just for BB, but for the track on a whole. Monster is a powerful song, and it coming from a new artist alongside one of the biggest rappers, it would have been a lot more interesting. However, I do understand why they chose Rihanna, because there's a lot more security in choosing Ri business wise. Rihanna is an already established and a hit maker to that. But still, I think they should have chose BB. It would spark more interest in her as an artist because people would be like, who is that? Anyway, BB Rexa would find herself in controversy surrounding the monster after performing her rendition of the track at a concert in Augusta, Georgia. A video of BB saying she couldn't sing those high notes so they had to use my voice instead would hit the internet. She couldn't sing those high notes so they had to use my voice instead. The singer got a lot of backlash as many saw it as BB throwing shade at Rihanna. In an interview, BB Rexa explained that she was told to sit down and was called a white girl at the show. And that was just her retaliating in her defense. And she wasn't shading the Bayesian singer at all. Hey Mama, a song by French producer David Guetta was released on March 16, 2015. The track featured rapper Nicki Minaj and Afro Jack, another prominent producer in the electro music realm. The track peaked at number 8 on the Billboard Hot 100 and the music video currently has 1.6 billion views on YouTube. BB Rexer, who is a writer and vocalist on the track, was absent from the initial track lineup despite being the one singing the chorus. Once again, the industry did BB dirty, this time by refusing to credit her on a song she carried. Yeah, Nikki did her thing and David and Afro Jack did an amazing job on the production but that chorus sung by BB was the highlight. So Hey Mama was being streamed on Spotify, YouTube, and iTunes, and the singer was not credited as a featured artist. And some people even thought the chorus was sung by Nicki Minaj, as BB was absent from the music video. When BB requested to be featured, she got pushback saying, it'll be too many features on one song, because most EDM songs only have one or two. In an interview with Billboard, BB gave insights saying, We talked about it. I actually emailed Geta about it. I really wanted to be featured on it because, you know, I've been signed and dropped and now signed a second time. So it's been hard. What ended up happening was that it looked like a lot of names on the title. So they wanted to keep as many low features as possible. That's what I was told. And it makes sense to me. I guess more than two names don't look good on the radio. The singer continued, it's tough hearing your voice on the radio, on a chorus, and knowing that people think it's another artist. It's cool, and I see how fast it's growing, but I think it will get people talking anyway. I'm just blessed to be a part of it, and that hopefully my voice will start becoming installed in people's brains. When my own stuff gets going, it'll sound familiar to them. Eventually, BB Rexa was credited as a featured act in the title after involving her lawyer. And I don't blame her because, because I'd say they did not respect her enough. They didn't think they had to because she was still upcoming at the time. If it was another artist who had a bigger name like Beyonce or Mariah Carey, and even if they had contributed one line, they would have been listed as a feature, no questions asked. Although BB Rexa is underrated and was done dirty by the music industry, don't worry, no need to feel too bad for the hip maker. BB has gone on to make some of the biggest songs in recent times, which she got credit for. Me, Myself, and I, a duet with rapper g Easy, released in 2016, features cinematic vocals by BB, which helped to propel the track to peak at number 7 on the Billboard Hot 100. Meant to be, another duet with Florida Georgia Line, a country crossover, peaked number 2 on the Billboard Hot 100. BB Rexa has released three studio albums so far, and she teamed up with David Guetta once more on the EDM track, I'm Good, which peaked number 4 on the Hot 100 this year year. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm all right, so by no means this is a pity party for Rexa. 
as she sings in the song. Baby, don't you know I'm good? Yeah, I'm feeling. 